Hi all, hope you're all good. Uh, I'm just going to do a very quick video on how to pan a, um, a chicken breast. So I'm going to do um, kind of like a chicken, breaded chicken goujon for my tea tonight. Um, and that's going to go with some nice couscous filled with lots of vegetables and then probably do a little sour cream. So we're going to take you through what is uh, effectively known as a pan in, um, which is basically to coat. Um, so what I've done, I've got some corn flour. I'm using corn flour, you can just use plain flour. I find corn flour gives the chicken a nice crispy finish. Um, I've got two eggs literally beaten up uh, with a little bit of egg, um, salt and pepper in there. And then instead of using breadcrumbs, which that looks like, um, what we've actually got is instant mashed potato. Um, I've got a range called Idahoan, which I've never heard of before. Um, it was all I could find in the shop uh, when I went the other day. And this one's flavoured with cheddar cheese. So, into my instant mashed potato what I've put is some smoked paprika uh, a little bit of Cajun uh, a bit of salt and pepper and that's about it um, like I say you can use breadcrumbs if you've got stale bread throw them in the food processor robo them up if you haven't got instant mashed potato just use some fresh bread put it in the food processor blitz them up and then if you want to put some spicing through your um, breadcrumbs you can um, this is a method recipe that we've done for many football clubs um, and then instead of deep frying them um, we're just going to spray them with a little bit of our, uh, vegetable oil, which we have in the spray bottles, the fry lights. Um, and then we're just going to put them in the oven to bake them. And they should go nice and crispy and give you a nice baked chicken goujon, um, which is a lot healthier than frying them. If you have air fryers, you can do them in the air fryers. Um, I don't have one. I've never used one, but I, I imagine they'd work in the same principle. Um, so what I'll do it. I'll just take you through really quickly how to pan it. So what I've done, obviously started off, I've washed my hands giving them a good wash. Um, I'm going to put on a blue glove. Just while I'm handling raw chicken. But again, if you haven't got these, don't worry. Just wash your hands in between each job. So what we've done, we've cut something here that in the trade we call a goujon. Um, so it's a chicken breast that's just been goujoned up. And then we just cut them into strips. You can cut them into cubes and make little chicken nuggets if you want. If you're looking for alternative now McDonald's has uh, sadly had to shut the shops um, and what we're going to do literally all we do I'll try and take you through the stages without making you seasick into the flour without getting flour everywhere I'm doing these in like plastic bowls glass bowls so you can see the method it is easier just to do them on a plate uh, and you don't get flour everywhere if you don't like the feel of corn flour it's quite starchy just use normal flour. You don't have to use flour if you don't want to, um, but it does help the egg stick. And then all we're gonna do is come into our little mashed potato mix. Give that a good coating. You can, if you want, do a double panne, um, where we go back into the egg and then back into the breadcrumb, or into the breadcrumb, into the mashed potato mix, I should say. And then all I'm gonna do is just pop that onto my plate and you should be able to see if I move all this. But I've just got a nice coated piece of chicken. Like I say, I'm going to put this in the oven, spray it with a little uh, fry light oil. If you haven't got fry light oils, just use a little brush and just brush a little bit of oil on them. If you've got air fryers, um, you can use the air fryer. And, and like I say, I'm going to bake them about 200 degrees. Depending on how thick you cut your chicken, I'd imagine these are probably going to take between 10 to 12 minutes but if you have a food probe please use it they're a great little bit to kit you can get them off amazon for quite cheap uh they're a couple of pounds and cook your chicken to 75 degrees and above so i'm going to be using the food probe to check our chicken make sure it's cooked because with everything else going on in the world we don't want food poisoning as well and like i say fingers crossed they're going to come out lovely and tasty i have some nice bit of couscous a uh, little sour cream dip uh, Put some pictures up on social media later when I come to serve them, obviously on the Richkins Woodcraft boards. Um, and enjoy, and hopefully if this nice weather continues, we may crack the barbie open soon. See you soon.